In this Dawson Springs neighborhood, there are those who have almost nothing left and those who have even less. Many were home when the tornado hit. The wind picked up so fast and the rain was coming down really hard. Amanda Blades is back at their home along with her husband Thomas and family to pick through and salvage anything possible. She says when the storm came, by the time she knew there was trouble, it was already too late. So we're gonna hurry up and try to get the kids. And by the time we were gathering up the kids to get in the hallway and protect them, all our windows just broke and we all got just thrown different places. The walls exploded. She was thrown to the backyard with her three children. Thomas was pinned inside. Somehow they all survived despite the injuries to her face. Yeah, I got stitches out of two by four attached to me. You mean the two by four was stuck there? Like, yeah, you? yeah. It was stuck in your head? Yes. I was, we, were in the, we sat in the waiting room for 12 hours. I was pulling nails out of my hair. He was, we were pulling splinters out of my head. All over the area, the wind left behind reminders of how powerful it was. A limb stuck like a javelin through a truck tire, a refrigerator in a tree. Entire homes disintegrated. Nothing left at all. And so your house was here, got picked up and shoved. 30 feet in that direction? Yes, sir. David Capp's house was floated in the air until it hit his next door neighbor's house. You ever think you'd see anything like this? Not in real life. And even then, it's still hard to believe. Unbelievable damage as those who managed to survive are left with few possessions, but everything that was important. Yeah, now there were reports of deaths in that very neighborhood. We saw one where a neighbor told us a woman had passed away. Her house was a block house and there was nothing but the foundation left. There was not one block on top of another at that house. A lot of folks here in these neighborhoods are just trying to come to grips with the shock of all this before they can even think about the cleanup. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.